Hi, my name is Caroline Allen. This is my yurt art studio in the woods in Estacada, Oregon, which is about 35 miles from Portland. I gave this yurt to myself as my 50th birthday gift, and it's all part of my uh, process of going vegan and getting close to the land and living uh, more in my authentic voice. So welcome. There's a lot of art here. Being a day for a year, twice, so there were 700 odd, the ones hanging up, uh, there were 700 odd paintings at one point. Many have been sold. But today we're talking about the journey to, through art and veganism. And so we're going to start the tour here. This is when I very first uh, went vegetarian, I believe. Was I vegan yet? I don't think so. And I just started to explore uh, painting chickens, uh, just letting myself express. I used to, as a child, we did a lot of butchering. So I was around a lot of killing of chickens. And we also hunted and fished. And so, as you can see, there's a lot of red in this one, just expressing, just getting it out. What that led to was a little bit more of an exploration into my relationship with animals. This one's called Little Red. It's based on Little Red Riding Hood fairy tale. And look how scared she is. <laughs> and look how gentle the wolf is but anyway it was just an exploration of my own unconscious fears of animals from this came an idea to go to a farm animal sanctuary in oregon get to know the animals and paint them so this is hugo each of these animals has a story of neglect or abuse and that's why they're at the sanctuary where they're very well loved and this is Rockstar Rooster. And Rockstar Rooster was the wildest rooster out of his mind crazy. And he just spewed in my imagination color. Um, and then there were other chickens just really exploring uh, the chickens and chickens as uh, sentient beings. Getting to know that each animal had such a different personality. Each animal was a strong individual. One of my favorite ones, this is a much larger painting. This is just a print of it. It's sold. This is Daisy. Daisy was at the Farm Animal Sanctuary as well. And she had uh, been part of a domestic abuse situation and been left. Uh, when the wife had to leave, she had to leave the horse. She couldn't find a place for it for a while it was neglected for a while finally found a home at the sanctuary um and uh brings up the issue of how we as humans are in relationship to each other affects the animals around us then there are the goats and this is johnny and I had a particularly strong relationship with johnny and i actually painted him three or four times johnny Johnny, Johnny. <laughs> we'll show the other one again. I used uh, salt to get that technique there. Okay, and then this brought me, for me personally, to my relationship with dogs. And I have, a, I got a dog at about this time. And dogs, when I were growing, was growing up, were kept in a pen and only used for hunting. They were just tools. And so to be able to have a, a connection to a dog, get to know the personality of the dog, and become a good dog owner was part of my very long journey. <laughs> That's Atlas. He's actually sitting outside the yurt now um, doing his protecting thing that he does. He's a very good boy. Then, of course, it led me to my relationship with fish. And I started painting fish as well to start to understand all of the fish that had been killed when I was young. And, you know, I did so myself as well uh, in that paradigm. It's just what you did. Gutted them, ate them, 
And so it's starting to understand fish and really conceptualizing and finding the color in fish. Also kind of just letting it come up. We, I grew up in Missouri, so the rivers were really muddy and the fish were all often kind of this dark, muddy, fishy thing. And so I was exploring that, just letting whatever come up, come up. My issue with my love of being an artist is that you get to be every emotion. You don't have to just be happy and you don't have to just be upset. You, you get to be every emotion and experience it through paint, which is just what I love. And then, of course, this leads to, you know, birds. And I didn't put a painting out of trees, but I've painted so many trees. So getting closer and closer to nature, getting to know the different personalities of birds. And then finally, of course, when you become vegan, it becomes your also your relationship with vegetables and understanding vegetables as much more than something just, that's just on your plate. The beauty of them, the power of, you know, Mother Nature that grows this food for us. It's very, very profound. So that is my um, tour of my relationship with art and veganism and my relationship with animals. Thank you all so much. And this is Atlas. Will he look? Atlas. No. Okay, thank you. Bye.